Today, NASA released new global surface temperature data, confirming that last year was the hottest year ever recorded, for the third year in a row. Sea ice is also at the lowest levels ever measured. That analysis is crucial to global security and wouldn't be possible without precision data from NASA that captures exactly what's happening on Earth's surface. But some House Republicans and at least one Trump advisor want to defund NASA's climate research arm. For now, NASA's Earth scientists are forging ahead with plans that include a research satellite that'll measure minute changes in the world's ice sheet using lasers beamed down from space. Ariel Duem Ross visited the Goddard Space Flight Center in Maryland to see how it works. So there's a lot of noise in this building. What exactly are we hearing right now? Mostly what we're hearing is uh, pumps and air circulation in order to simulate the vacuum of space. And the ice sat satellite is here. That's right. The Ice Cloud and Land Satellite, or ICESat-2, is NASA's next-generation technology for measuring melting sea ice in the Arctic. ICESat-2 is just one of the tools we have to study how the planet is changing. Uh, NASA builds satellites uh, like Landsat that take imagery of the Earth, that you can look at changes in the color of the Earth or in the extent of forests. ICESat-2 really adds another dimension. It adds that third dimension. It lets us measure the height and how the height is changing with time. It'll send out little pulses of laser light, bounce them down off the Earth's surface, back up to the satellite, and if we can time precisely how fast the laser light moves and how long does it take to go down and back, we can figure out what the height of the surface of the Earth is beneath the satellite. So ICESat-1 took 40 measurements a second with its single beam laser, and that basically equated to having a measurement in each end zone of a football field. Okay. ICESat-2 fires 10,000 times a second, and that'll get us data every football. Okay, so, so that's a huge difference. It's a huge difference. So we're gonna get so much more detail with ICESat-2 than was available with ICESat-1. We don't even know some of the things that we'll see because we've never been able to look at the ice sheets in this kind of detail before. In order to catch a glimpse of the laser inside the ICESat-2, we entered a clean room with protective garments. For more than a year, scientists tested a prototype of the laser to ensure that it works continuously before it's launched into space in mid-2018. To get proper measurements from the Earth's surface, researchers have to make sure that the photons returning to the satellite hit optical fibers that are less than one one-hundredth of an inch apart. That kind of precision is what will allow the new laser to measure changes as small as one centimeter on the Earth's surface. Once ICESat-2 is on orbit, it's going to collect measurements of the ice sheets of the polar oceans for at least three years. We're hoping for more as long as the instrument stays healthy. By comparing that with the first ICESat mission, we'll build an almost 20-year picture of how the polar regions are changing through time. It's an amazing new piece of technology, doing things we've never been able to do before and understanding the planet in a way we've never been able to before.